but it'll make a lovely ledge for London's pigeons if they wear oxygen masks. The South African Grand Prix in Johannesburg. The battle is on for the World Drivers' Championship. Swiss driver Clay Regatoni. Last year's runner-up, Nicky Lauda of Austria. And reigning champion, James Hunt, our rivals again. Kyle Army is South African Yodi Schechter's home track. Brazilian Emerson Fittipaldi could be a threat, so could Swede Ronnie Peterson. On the off, turn up acceleration comes in second. James Hunt from pole position in the lead. Nicky Lauda, his old rival, right behind. Settling down, Hunt holds on. But as the pace peps up, there's a change in the order. Nicky Lauda takes over. Hunt drops behind. Then drama. Italian Victor Brambilla loses control of his white certes. Then regains it. Everyone breathes again. The race goes on, but it's an omen. Nicky Lauda's red Ferrari heads the pack. And tragedy. Welsh driver Tom Price, in a shadow, crashes into a young track official. Both men are killed instantly. The accident casts a gloom over the event, a reminder that this most perilous of sports still takes its grim toll. But the race isn't stopped. Lafitte's Ligier Matra is also a casualty of the crash. Luckily, the Frenchman is unhurt. Meanwhile, Nicky Lauda, himself involved in a near-fatal crash last season, keeps his position. It's Lauda, Schechter, De Pelle. James Hunt of Britain, the champion, is in fourth place. But no one can catch the little Austrian. Lauda's Ferrari takes the checkered flag, Schechter is second, De Pelle third. Valuable World Championship points for Nicky Lauda, but it's not a happy ceremony despite the smiles. The day's tragic deaths touch the ceremony. Lauda leaves the traditional champagne spraying to Jody Schechter, but the young South African's heart just isn't in it. A sad day at Kyle Army. <laughs>